What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Fan of Life channel. Today, we are going to talk about real estate investing and the ongoing question through the years, and you might have seen it through various infomercials and social media. The question is, can you buy real estate and invest in real estate without any of your own money? Well, the answer is pretty simple. And the truth of the matter is, So today we're gonna to break it down and answer that question truthfully. I'm gonna give you my own personal experience, but before we dive really into it, make sure you guys hit subscribe, give it a like, and share your thoughts under the comments. I'll be sure to produce more videos like this, so share it with your friends and let's grow the channel. So, going back to the original question, can you really buy and invest in real estate without any money, specifically without using your own money? Well, the answer is, yes, you can. I've done it, many people have done it through the years, and just like anything, you just need to understand the rules of the game and understand the strategy on how to make it happen. So let's clarify on what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to discuss the act of investing, the turning over of properties as quickly as possible for profit. So I'm not referring to buying a house, going in there and living it for four, five, six, ten years, and then selling it for a profit and then moving on to another property. That's more passive. And if it's your residential property, it may not really be an investment. So we're going to talk about active investing. So the two most common active investing strategies are going to be a standard fix and flip and an assignment of contract, which I'll explain a little bit later. The standard fix and flip by now has gone through huge growth and popularity because of all the TV shows you see on HGTV, Discovery Channel, etc where somebody goes in, they buy a property, a distressed property at a lower value, fix it up, raise up that value and sell for the highest market price possible. And somewhere between the purchase price, the rehab price and your end sale price in there is your profit potentially. The question has never been about how do you do it because the concept of fix and flip is pretty simple. The question, however, has always been, how does one come up with the money to do it? If you don't have your own money or an abundance of it, can you really do that without using any of your own money? And again, the answer is yes. I want you to get familiar with a term in real estate known as OPM. That stands for other people's money. There are various forms of OPM, but today I'm going to focus on two, the two most common for fixing and flipping. The first one is known as private money and private money basically is finding somebody with capital that wants to invest in the project and that will front you the money, whether it be partial or whether it be the whole thing from purchase to rehab. You in turn work out the terms in the deal with this person. The great thing about private money is that it's a one-on-one -on -one interaction. It's their personal money, so they can do with it as they please. You're not going to an institution and following their regulations or their rules or their procedures. It's really a one-on-one -on -one negotiation. In other videos or in future videos, I'll talk about how I acquire a handful of private money to fund my projects. Here's some words of encouragement regarding private money. You will be shocked at how many people out there actually have expendable cash, expendable capital that if you give them the right scenario and they can see their money grow through your efforts, they will be willing to invest. The other option in OPM that we're going to talk about is something called hard money. And basically hard money is a lender or a group of lenders that are willing to do high risk lending, specifically with rehab and real estate investing. You see, if you buy distressed property, a traditional bank will not loan on it because it's too risky. Big corporations, big institutions will not do risky lending. So hard money, they are specifically looking for opportunities to lend to this type of scenario. Why you ask? Well, number one, it's super expensive. Number two, it's only short term and it's guaranteed by the property, not you, which is a good thing. Let's say you found a distressed property for 250,000. Do you think $50,000 in rehab will bring you $350,000 on the resale? You bring that to a hard money lender they will do the due diligence and analyze the project with you. If the numbers pan out, they will then work out terms on their lending for the project. It varies from person to person and it varies from hard lender to hard lender. 
What I do want you to be prepared for though is if you're green and you barely done any deals or no deals at all, you would be put in a pretty expensive tier. A lot of the cost is the upfront cost with an additional high interest. So make sure you do your numbers thoroughly. I speak from experience as my first year in real estate, I did buy a property and rehab it with hard money. It cut my profit by quite a bit, but at the end, I still made a little bit of money, but more importantly, it gave me the opportunity to get experience because when I go back for another opportunity, if it arises in the same scenario, my position will be a lot better through my experience. So you have to analyze the pros and cons of each. So to recap, if you're going to do fix and flips, you have to have money. If you don't have any of your own and you don't want to use any of your own, you have to do OPM. You have to use other people's money. The two most common are private money and heart money. Personally, my favorite are private money because you can do one-to-one -one negotiations. Then again, heart money typically has the ability to lend in greater scale. So it really depends on the situation and it depends on the market that you're in. Do your homework, do your due diligence. This is Velvet, everybody. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, so there you have it, OPM. You have two options out of many how you can cover your expenses. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a trip. I'm gonna show you how to do a project or how to do a deal with no money whatsoever. So stay tuned. One of the reasons why I love real estate is because there's so many different ways that you can structure a deal. So I'm taking you guys to my very first fix and flip. What's cool about this location is during the process of rehabbing the house, I met another home seller literally across the street. So we negotiated a deal, we locked it in, opened escrow, and with this second property, I exercised a different strategy called assignment of contract. So basically what it is, is the same procedure. Once it's in escrow though, I gave myself the discretion to actually sell off the contract. I found myself another buyer, another fix and flip investor, and I sold off my contract to him for 25,000. So in a sense, I did not fix and flip the property, However, I did flip the contract, and that's what an assignment is. So we're gonna pull up to both houses in just a few. Stay tuned. So we're standing in front of my very first flip, the flip that I use with a private lender, and since then, we've done about three deals together, making money together. And that's the beauty of having a private lender. You can do multiple deals and together you guys benefit each other. But this is my very first flip that I did in Las Vegas. Now, the cool thing is, and the reason why I wanted to bring you guys to this specific property is because across the street right here, during the rehab process, I was able to lock in under contract as well. Understanding the power of assignment, I was able to sell off the contract during the rehab of my first property and close both together. Between the two properties, they netted me $50,000 on the same street by understanding the rules of the game and doing it the professional way. So if I can do it, you can too. 